Hello and welcome to the September edition of Some Arts. I'm Dave Ortega from the Somerville Media Center and I have two very special guests with me in the studio today. I have Nina Eichner from the Somerville Arts Council and Esther Hennig from Union Square Main Streets. Hello to both of you. Thanks for having us. Great to be here. Now September is nuts. Is that fair to say? It's nuts. <laughs> it's true. There's a lot we going on. Yes. We continue the festival season. All right. Yeah. Um, and why don't we just like start off with some of the things that are going on Great. in September. Um, and I know in Union Square, there's, as ever, the farmer's market every Saturday. So it's every Saturday from 9 to 1. And this is like peak, peak mm. produce season. And we have a wonderful array of vendors. And it's a great place to come out and meet people. And so what come could, join what us. What vegetables are peak right now? Um, I think tomato, like pretty much everything. Yeah. You know, I think you, you have the overlap now of like, some of the colder weather, like broccoli, sp starting mm -hmm. to come back, but you have you still have the green beans and the, you know, lots of tomatoes, peaches, mm -hmm. and in a few weeks we'll start having apples, mm -hmm. if we're not having them now already. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! And then there's always music and there's music other things, like there's crafts. Not crafts. Not crafts so much. Okay. No, not crafts. Craft beer. Um, craft wine. <laughs> there's yeah, we have mead and we That's have what I meant. beer and. <laughs> Uh, okay. We have Nibble, our, our local entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs offering fabulous food every other week. Great. Um, we have mushrooms, we have pickles, we have nuts, we have knife sharpening. Um, so something for everybody. It's a great, great market. And uh, so the second Saturdays, Union Square Main Street has been organizing um, events around the second Saturday of every month. Um, so what's going on September 9th? Well, we, we have specials every second Saturday. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we have about 17 businesses and they offer a special every second Saturday of every month. And we hand out flyers at the farmer's market. So all, these are all our uh, local brick and mortar businesses. Um, and you can also get it through Facebook, on our website, unionsquaremain.org. So every second Saturday is even more special, even though every Saturday in Union Square is special. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, so we have a lot of special Sundays this September. It's true. As well, uh, starting with uh, the Rock and Roll Yard Sale on September 10th. Yeah, so the Rock and, Roll y uh, Rock and Roll Yard Sale is an event that's been happening for quite a while in Union Square. And it's a market that Chris Daltrey puts on. Um, him and his partner, uh, Jen, have a, had a record store in Rhode Island in Providence for a long time. And they do a rock and roll yard sale there, and they do one up here. And it's mainly uh, record sales and other kind of vintage DIY um, crafts and vendors who kind of fit in that rock and roll theme. It's a really fun market. Um, a lot of great vendors, um, a lot of interesting art. Um, posters and things like that, and they always have really cool bands come out. So that's on the 10th, um, Sunday, September 10th, um, basically all day, and it's just kind of a chill event, really fun to come hang out, you know, come to the farmer's market second Saturday, and the next day just come, you know, have brunch and come peruse the records. The records. Yeah. Stock up on some records. Yeah. Uh, what kind of music can people expect at the uh, Rock and Roll Yard? It'll be so. some kind of chill rock music. Chill Perfect rock, rock for a Sunday afternoon. No heavy metal. No heavy metal. All right. Yeah. That's that's yeah. good to know. Um, and then w one week after that, also on a Sunday, um, the Somerville Arts Council continues with its Summer Street series. Yeah. So this is our third out of four, three out of four Summer Streets. Um, this one is on Highland Ave, um, from School Street to Lowell, and um, it's a really great event. You know, we try to have a lot of um, since it's back to school season, mm -hmm. involvement with the schools and the libraries. We have two stages, one that's sponsored by uh, Once Ballroom and one that's in front of the Armory and two stages of music, a lot of um, female, um, all-female bands or bands with a lot of women in them. We try to highlight that. Last year we had two stages of all-female bands. Um, we had the Blow Wrestlers, um, Boston League of Women Wrestlers come out and we're just going to have a lot of interesting interactive activities, music, food. It's just a really great um, event, good weather usually. 
and um, <laughs> it's just it's it's a fun you know half a mile street festival trying to get neighbors out to meet each other 789 cheesecake often does a cheesecake eating competition so just you know fun things to do on a Sunday afternoon it's 2 to 6 p.m. 2 to 6 p.m. all right excellent something to look forward to um, no super slides this no time around. slide August we had a slide it was a big hit as as usual, um, no water slide for September. <laughs> yeah, but, um, be a little too brisk. Yeah, some good bands and some fall activities. All right. Yeah. Now, um, I know we need to spend some time talking about the centerpiece yeah, of September. Of September and possibly the whole the year. whole year for for a lot of people is uh, it's Fluff Fest. Um, is that actually what what it's called? Because I, I it's what the Fluff what Fest. The Fluff Fest. Um, and festival. this is a festival dedicated to marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow fluff. It's true. Which was invented in Somerville. A hundred years ago. A hundred years ago. So it's the What the Fluff Festival, a tribute to Union Square invention. And this year is a hundred years, so it's the Fluff Centennial. And the subtext, the subtitle is Inspiring the Next Century of Union Square Invention because we still are a hub of invention, as everybody knows. We have lots of phenomenal, you know, new and exciting things going on in the square, which is why everyone should come to Union Square all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, on September 23rd, from 3 to 7 p.m., rain date, September 24th, 3 to 7, is, we'll be celebrating the 100th anniversary. And, uh, as everybody knows, it's a great time. It's just great. I, I've been to Fluff, and I remember the 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 Fluff, um, the Fluff, in its many forms, yeah. Fluff food, Fluff concoctions. Um, will there be that same amount of Fluff? You can't in, have. In all you cannot have forms. a Fluff festival <laughs> without huge amounts That's of Fluff. Fun. So we have. Um, I don't even remember. You know, thirty to forty vendors. Most of them will be either selling fluff inspired crafts or um, fluff treats. We have the special iconic fluff centennial t-shirt that we'll be selling along with our fluff bags and our fluff hats. Um, we have the shenanigan stage, our own fluff inventor Archibald Query impersonator yeah. who's been with us for the full 12 years of fluff where you can have fluff hairdos, fluff jousting, fluff musical chairs, and more. Uh, we're having a costume contest this year at the oh, really? shenanigan stage, so people can fluff up for the day. Um, we have fluff games um, for at the Midway uh, area. Pardon? A cooking contest. A cooking contest. I'm getting to the cooking contest. Uh oh. Couldn't. <laughs> so, the, everybody looks forward to the cooking contest, and people submit recipes, and we have judges. And then the mayor oversees the uh, announcements of the winners at our main stage, where we have music. This year, I'm coming back to, this, to the cooking contest. Uh -huh. um, this year, we have the squeeze box stompers, jammery, and the red hot. and the Mean Reds, and um, Ten Tum Bao. And our cooking contest, we have four celebrity judges this year. We have Anthony Brooks from WBUR. We have Rachel Leith Blumenthal from Eater Boston. We have Anthony Brooks from WBUR. WBUR is our media sponsor this year. So he's, the, he, he's judging twice? You just said him twice. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anthony Brooks from DBUR, uh, Rachel Leah Blumenthal from Eater Boston, um, Andy Husbands from The Smoke Shop, and Lisa Hughes from WBZ TV. Great. Fabulous. So That's exciting. We have, a, we have a wonderful roster. And this year, the new, the new activity special for the Fluff Centennial tribute to Union Square Invention is going to be Invention Alley, which will be right across the street in the alley between Ebi Sushi and Mike's Auto, and brought to you by the Somerville High School Robotics Team oh, and wow. Artisans Asylum. And it's going to be lots and lots of fabulous activities. So robotics on top of just great food, great music. And great games. Great games. 
all ages fun. There's something for all ages. And I, something I really like about fluff is that, and I think something the mayor who talks about how much he likes fluff, one thing he especially appreciates about it is that it's such an odd festival, right? To have a fluff, uh, fluff festival, marshmallow fluff being the centerpiece of a festival. But it really, I think, showcases what's great about Somerville, which is that you can take something really kind of random, um, but that's an interesting piece of Somerville history and really bring, bring people together around it. So to have, you know, a lot of different restaurants from all cultural backgrounds, to have activities for everyone, all ages, music, fun, it really, it brings people together and brings community together and it's a hugely popular festival. The crowds get bigger every year. Last year the mayor estimated, you know, 13 or 14,000 people. Wow. Um, so it's big and it's really, it's an exciting day and it's a lot of fun and we love getting to Union Square Main Street does all the heavy lifting, but as Arts Council, we really um, love getting to partner and support them on this really great event. Yeah. Excellent, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, I know I definitely need to brush up on my fluff, my, my food uh, with fluff. There you go. So, There's this, so is, many this is my opportunity yeah. to, to learn more about food with fluff. Absolutely. And since we're also sort of a gastronomic capital, I urge everyone who wants to do some fluff inspired recipe to sign up for a cooking contest. So actually, the, the, we have a special web page for the Fluff Festival. It's very easy. It's just flufffestival.com. And if somebody wants to sign up for the cooking contest, the, the submissions are open. Yeah. And that's the place where they can kind of keep track of what's going on and any, any new announcements. and. So they don't have to write down everything I said. They can just go to the festival. Oh, great. And program books should also be in the local businesses in the next week or two. Is that new, a program book? Or did you have We've always had the program books. We just managed to get it. We're managing to get them out a little early. Oh, great. Sure. Excellent. Awesome. Um, now, is there a deadline for the uh, registration for the cooking contest? There is. I think it's the 19th, but I'm not sure, but it's on the web page. Okay, so to be, to verify that, page. just visit the website flufffestival.com. Excellent, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, so uh, another um, exciting event that exact same Is day. the evening. In the evening. If you didn't have enough fun at Fluff <laughs> and you want more, at 8 p.m., an hour after Fluff ends, you can go and have some dinner in the square and then at 8 p.m. head over to Art Farm at 10 Poplar Street and go to a crazy, wacky dance party. All right. Now, um, for people who have not been to Art Farm, yeah. uh, what is that space? So Art Farm is, it used to be the old waste transfer site. It was basically Somerville's own dump. Um, at 10 Poplar, it's kind of off of Washington Street, um, down in East Somerville, by the Brick Bottom Artist Community. Mm -hmm. And based on residents who didn't love living next to a dump, and also, you know, for a variety of reasons, the mayor decided we weren't going to do, have our own trash collection site in the city anymore. And so he got rid of the waste transfer site and came to the Arts Council about maybe five years ago or so with kind of a challenge to turn the space into a multi-purpose arts space. And there's been a lot of work um, towards that goal moving forward to make it into a multi-purpose arts space and agricultural space. And that's still in process, but in the meantime, we are programming the space. So for the past few years, we've been having festivals and pop-up events at Art Farm. So it's really just a blank canvas. We have a greenhouse on site, but the rest is just an open lot. And so, We've worked with many producers and curators who are very creative in envisioning, you know, an amazing festival out of an empty lot. And so we've had um, Star Lab Festival has been there. We had an agricultural arts festival there last fall. Um, and Mum is going to be there for the third time this year. So Mum is the Meet Under McGrath dance party. It used to happen under McGrath Highway, um, but it's now been shifted to Art Farm. Um, it's curated by um, Sadia Carr and her team of artists and has a lot of um, people from Burning Man who bring back art sculptures from there and set them up at the Mum Dance Party. Um, so it's just a really fun nighttime kind of light up dance party. We often have fire throwing and lots of really interesting you know, lighting and projection art. And it's, it's just a fun nighttime dance party. So um, you, know, you get your daytime fluff activity and your nighttime dancing. 
So it's in your be, morning market. In your morning there market. You are. It's going to be an amazing <laughs> Saturday in <laughs> Union Square. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, uh, is there any food at this at the? Um Last year we did have the nibble um, culinary entrepreneurs, the Carolina, selling arepa. So okay. there probably will be a bit of a snack there, um, but just kind of mostly just primarily just a dance party. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think people will be ready for a dance party. Yeah. After all the food at Fluff, they should be good for dancing all off, off at fluff. night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that that's a lot for um, September. Yeah. And then uh, we do have a very early October event, uh, October 1st, yeah. uh, which is a Sunday, the um, Evolution of Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. Um, is this a new event? Or? This will be the third annual Evolution of oh, okay. Hip Hop Festival. Relatively new. Well, it's rel compared to Fluff, <laughs> Mom, it's relatively new. So um, we've partnered with um, What's the Word, um, which is a production by Yvette Wilkes, and um, for the last three years on this festival. And she's been a really great partner. It was her idea, and we've just, you know, been able to, as we do with our all of our Arts Union series, we have curators and artists come to us with an idea, and we help them bring it to life. And so the Evolution of Hip Hop Festival has been a really great opportunity to showcase local artists. And we really try to focus on Somerville artists and local Boston artists and giving youth an opportunity to perform spoken word, rap, hip hop, music, and then dance, hip hop dance. And it's been a great event for the last two years, and now we're going to make it even bigger this year um, and really um, bring in some bigger names, um, bigger acts, and just continue to have, you know, Somerville as a place to showcase hip-hop um, music and art from the Boston area. So stay tuned for more updates on that. Things are still solidifying, but I think it'll be a really great event. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, Yvette is a uh, Somerville Media Center producer. Yeah. She produces uh, two shows here as well as a radio show. Yeah. Um, so we will be doing, um, I think she wants to do a marathon for, yes. uh, cable cast out of here the the day before yep. the event, and then we'll be doing some uh, some live streaming yeah. from the event. So. Yeah, Somerville Media Center has always, for the past two years, has been a great partner on the hip hop festival, and um, it's always good when we're working in the square. You all are such a great partner in terms of using your space and resources and helping make these events happen. So, especially on the hip hop festival. A good partnership. Well, we're we're right in the center of it, That's so true. we we can't help it, and we're we're happy That's to true. contribute to the culture um, that and the community that is Union Square. Yeah, absolutely. So those are great partners. They are, and they are, and at, you know, as we like to say in the city, it's all it's all about collaboration. It's all about partnerships, and all of these events. To me, the main purpose is to really showcase the various communities and the coming together of multiple different groups of people in Somerville, because I think that's what we're all about here. Well said. Yeah. Very well put. <laughs> um, so that is a busy September, and it's so busy we even talked a little bit about October. Um, so get out there, mark all this on your calendars, and uh, we hope to see you out in Union Square. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Nina. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And we'll see you next month. Here are some additional things going on in Somerville in September. On Sunday, September 10th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m., the Somerville Dog Fest takes place at Trump Field. This free event will feature the Doggy Fun Zone, which promises to be like American Ninja Warrior for your dog. Other events include an urban mushing demo, come when called class, dog owner lookalike contest, and best trick contest. More info can be found at somedogfest.org. Eat the tastiest Greek food this side of the Atlantic at the Greek Food and Music Festival from Friday, September 8th to Sunday, September 10th at the Dormition of the Virgin Mary Greek Orthodox Church at 29 Central Street. This free event features live Greek music every night as well as authentic Greek cuisine as well as free satellite parking. Woo woo! For more information, visit www.dormissionchurch.org. Now in its eighth year, Star Lab Fest is an end of the summer party celebrating local music, comedy, visual art, and vendors. This year, Star Lab Fest is once again at Art Farm at 10 Poplar Street on Saturday, September 9th. 
As always, there will be plenty of beer, wine and cider, as well as free barbecue, including vegan and veggie options from our friends at Scott Bros New American Meat Co. Also, a flea market will be on site curated by High Energy Vintage with local vendors, raffles, and games. Doors open at 12 p.m. noon and music begins at 1.30 p.m. Tickets are $15 to $25. Sliding scale, pay what you like, feel comfortable with whatever you want to contribute. Advanced tickets will be available from brown paper tickets or at the festival entrance. All ages and all dogs are more than welcome. Visit StarLabFest.com for more details, including a full list of performers. Ladies Con will take place on September 16th at the Center for Arts at the Armory from 12 noon to 5 p.m. Ladies Con is a free one-day celebration of women of all kinds and their work in comic books, science fiction, fantasy, cosplay, and many other realms of pop culture. Come see comics from over 30 vendors as well as panels featuring special guests. This year's guests include Gwenda Bond, Ming Doyle, Kristen Goodsnook, Mildred Lewis, Joe Quinones, and Raul III. East and Roll Main Street will host a foodie crawl on Tuesday, September 26. This interactive tasting tour of more than a dozen restaurants features an incredibly diverse range of food, including Ethiopian, Italian, Mexican, Haitian, Salvadorian, Brazilian, and more. This year, for the first time ever, visit the Foodie Crawl Beer Garden, hosted by our friends over at Arana Brewery. Tickets will allow for entry and unlimited food from all participating restaurants. For tickets and more information, visit eastcentralmainstreets.org. Friday, September 15th, is the final movie night in the park at Chucky e. Harris, presented by East Central Main Streets, us here at Central Media Center, and Arlington International Film Festival. Music and food starts at 7 p.m., with the film starting at 8.30 p.m. The documentary, Ocean Frontiers III, is a truly unique and hopeful ocean film that chronicles efforts to plan for a healthy, safe, and sustainable future. It explores the intersection of national security, maritime commerce, fishing, and recreation, plus expanding industries such as offshore wind energy, aquaculture, coupled with scientific discovery. Thanks for watching here at Some Arts for Several Media Center. I am Erica Jones. We take a lot of inspiration okay. from marshmallow fluff, and okay. it just it just comes to us. Br bring us bring us into that that world. Here's okay. here's here's rogue burlesque. Today we have to interpret somehow All right. the spirit of fluff. Well, what do you guys do? What is what gets you in the mood to fluff it up? We make one enormous fluffernutter sandwich. Yeah. Okay, it's about the size of this carpet here. Right. Um, we all eat it from the outside in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and all secrets are revealed by the time you get to the middle. By the t by the end, we've we've already had the entire dance choreographed. Wow. Yeah. Is there is there a certain songs that work the best for f fluff related routines? Songs that have the word marshmallow in them tend yeah. to work really well. Okay. Um, other things that are reminiscent of fluff yeah. and marshmallows, right. sweet things, yeah. Is is fluff a good dietary supplement for dancers? I'm, I'm it's sure it's all I eat. Okay. Oh man, Which the blood sugar must my, so my, my body is so. <laughs> it gives you a amazing. Nice, it gives you a nice shot of, of energy. Yeah, I'm sure before absolutely. you you get out there. Have you have you guys performed already? Yes, we just did our first dance, and then we have another one at 4.50. How did it go? Was it the best one yet? It was great, yeah. I can't say if it's the best one. We haven't done the other one yet, but... Best one so far. It's so far, yes. Yeah. The best of the day. How yeah. long have you been practicing? How long has oh, it the, taken all year. you guys it's to prepare? All year. All this year. is it. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is what they've this been working it. towards. We're debuting a new number today. Yes, we oh, are debuting a new number today. Can you, uh, without s spoiling too much, can you give us a little hint about what... Well, will occur in this number? we took a lot of inspiration from another iconic marshmallow creature yeah. from, you know, a recent Hollywood production okay. and one from I yesteryear. I get where you're coming from. Yes. <laughs> okay. Without giving too much away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever util actually utilized fluff into the routines or is it just interpretations of fluff? It's, it gets a little sticky. It does get a little sticky. Know? It's very hard to use in performance. Right. Like, that's my, that's yeah. my issue with it. Yeah. If, if we used it, we would all be stuck together in because, one giant fluff Because ball. honestly, every time I open a jar of fluff, yeah. especially the, the, the plastic one that has a wider mouth, 
The right. first thing I think to myself is I would like to just shove my fist in that thing. Yeah. But then you got you got fluff on your hand forever. And you have to like do the Winnie the Pooh has his hand stuff yeah. and stuck in the honey yeah, yeah. jar thing and you gotta shake it off. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a big problem. <laughs> It's probably good for spackle. I wonder if anybody ever I think a fluff sandwich is the only thing you've ever cooked for me. Really? Oh, that's yeah. nice. I did a pretty good job, the too, The one right? time you ever made anything for me, it was a fluff sandwich. Be- before you guys were the official burlesque uh, troupe of the, f- of the fluff fest, were you guys, did, you get, did you guys ever eat fluff or ever think about fluff? Do you have to be a fluff fan in order to be? Yeah, I think part the, of this? I think our all, our entire lives led to that moment. I, I'm, I'm imagining this is how you guys all met. Yes, we <laughs> we were in a fluff support group. Yeah, we met there. And then you were like, "How how can we better?" Yes, how can we live how our lives and not be ashamed of our love of fluff? How can we appreciate fluff in a more public sort exactly. of way? Exactly. Yes. And this is what you guys yeah. came up with. 